Luke is being a superhero tonight because, uh, well, as you may have been following along, Tara is responding well to chemotherapy. That's good. And it looks like she's going to go into remission after surgery and whatnot. However, she's still in the midst of taking the courses of chemotherapy and she just started a new one, which has really kicked her butt. That's why she wasn't here last week. And it's so bad. She wasn't here this week too. So, and she, she, she was tried to pull through, but around 7.30 this evening said, I just can't do it. Enter Luke rocks. He's very grace. Jumped in at the last Nine. minute. Nine. Her, dude. Appreciate it. No problem. Tara, you are doing great fighting all this off and you are fighting new forms of chemo and still hanging in there. You're going to be fine. You can make it through this. Um, she said uh, number. Go ahead. Well, she said okay. next, next time, she, cause she's got to do this three more times. She said the next time they're going in, they're going to like change how they're doing it. Like hydration or something. I don't, I don't, she's, she's, she knows what's going on, but they're going to try and make it easier on her next time. Gotcha. Okay. That's well, nice. cancer. All we have to deal with cancer are three things. Poison, radiation, and knives. Yep. yep. That's, that's it. All the things they tell you not to fight with. Your whole yeah. life long. But when you get cancer, it's like, okay, let's fight them. Yeah, and more and the more cancer you have, the all three at the same time at that yes. point. You get yes. the poison and you get the knives and you get the radiation. Everything. I mean, if you're on a budget, just cook your dinner with the microwave open and run with scissors. You're set. Yeah. I mean, that sounds awful, but there's a chance that you don't have to pay forty five thousand dollars. Yes. So also um, just as a heads up, last week, my lovely wife filled in. She did. For, uh, the show. She did a great job. She did. Um, I noticed that Nash um, didn't have any special stories for her and was laughing about that. Stories. Yeah, special stories, Nash. The special stories that you think are hilarious that I get. Why didn't you give any to her? I Well, there weren't any. Uh, and you've been here uh, some weeks there weren't any. Yeah. It does uh, happen. Uh, it's possible. It does happen. Uh, so this is where you say it's that this is one of those weeks, right? We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Let's get the intro rolling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the noises each week. Uh, uh, Radio Dead Air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, we're going to start in Florida this week, and dear God, I... <sighs> that's enough. That's all you have to tell me. That That's enough. I promise. I promise. Oh, yeah. Wait, do you see enough. The, wait do you see the headline. You're, you, yeah, you're going to have the same reaction I did, because... Fucking dear God. Um, let's bring that over here. Collier teacher under investigation for showing Veteran History Month video to school. I get that public schools hire anyone at this point. They're desperate. Come on. And like, Come on. Oh, seriously. Um, where's uh, the rest of the story? Come on. Naples? Oh, okay. That's usually like a ritzier, like that's above Tampa if I'm correct, or on the, the side of something. That's wild. A teacher at a Collier County School is facing a backlash from parents after they showed a, vil- a video celebrating Confederate History Month to the entire school. The video aired as part of the morning announcements on Tuesday at Manatee Middle School. Read the district spokesman. If you didn't know, April is an official, officially celebrated month here in the state of Florida named Confederate History Month, the teacher said in the video. School district wouldn't identify who the teacher is, but said they are investigating. How do you have to investigate? How I only investigate so far? Only investigating. That's it. Every year our state celebrates and memorializes that valiant, brave fight and the countless sacrifices by our men and women during that known as the Civil War. I lived in Florida for seven years. I don't remember hearing that being a thing ever, and I knew many teachers. At one point in the video, the teacher suggests a different name for the Civil War. It may be more correctly titled, War to Prevent Southern Independence. 
uh, 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 uh. like junior high already is filled with a smart Alex. I feel like this is what snaps about of like, oh man, we gotta start act. We gotta start acting right. Or we're gonna turn it into this guy. Uh, oh. Now well, here's here's the, the other twisted part because it is Florida. The state of Florida does recognize April as Confederate History Month. Several movements in re- recent years have failed. In Florida, the birthdays of Robert E. Lee and Jefferson Davis, along with Confederate Memorial Day, are all considered state legal holidays. But they're banning Michelangelo's David. Yeah. And they're banning every like a lot of other things, but yeah. this is okay. Collier County Public School said the instruction of Confederate History Month is not a part of the district's curriculum. Duh. Come on. I, I know how wild it's been the last few years with everything being riled up in the states for all uh, issues regarding this. Everyone, even the 13-year-olds, the bratty, smart aleck, genius 13-year-olds yep. would look, listen to this and go, uh, wait a second. Hey. Hey, Luke, what's this? What's this? <laughs> um, that's the actual flag of the Confederacy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they came in last place in the two in a two man race. That's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Lost on their own ground, too. Yeah. That's in the word. Just how in the world did you think this was gonna go, lady? Yeah, as a lady that did. It's like, I'm also like, was this her first year teaching this plan? Because, like, I just, I shudder to think she's been with the school for years. It's like, okay, well, it's April. You know what that means. And she busts out the Battle Hymn of the Republic, and she's waving the Confederate flags. It's all decorated in the class. Uh Uh-uh, I'm not going to school. You don't spring that shit on people. No. This is not one of those it's better to ask forgiveness than permission situations. No, 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 it's not. No. Also, I just realized it's April that celebrates this month, which yep. starts with April 1st. Yep. So April Fool's Day, you have everything decorated for the Confederacy. That's not that funny. It's not a good joke. Oh. Speaking of everything about this, the more I think of it gets worse. Move on, please. Do any problem. Speaking of not that funny, um, we're going to go to Oregon. I... Don't even know how to segue into this. This has never happened before. We don't hear from Oregon that much on this show. Well, we're hearing from it this week. This this is... Congratulations, Luke. You're here for a new thing this week. Yay? The man drains family bank account, throws $200,000 in cash onto an Oregon highway. I did see this, like, I didn't look into it, I saw, like, a, a thing on Twitter, because it reminded me, like, of uh, Breaking Bad, when, like, he's literally throwing the cash out the window yeah. on the highway. He's living out that last season of Breaking Bad. People were spotted roaming Interstate 5 in Oregon for a few days after a man drained his family's bank account and threw the cash out of a speeding car on the highway. Official said, official said Colin Davis McCarthy, 38, drained his family's shared bank account, totaling about $200,000, and let it fly. The reason? He wanted to share the money with others, according to KEZI. I have several questions. Um, 38 and you already had 200 grand in the bank? Well, I mean, your entire family. If it's your family, okay, that does make sense. All assets, you drain out your, um, if you had a 401k. I guess I could see that. Man. That is some philanthropy work. The problem is the family now wants the money back. Yeah. Because it's shared. They both have equal interest in the money. Family said that even though the odds are long, they're asking anyone who found cash to please return it. I I depend on the kindness of strangers. It's not going to work for you this time. It's all asshole. Yeah, yeah, you ruined your family. You ruined your family. There's no other way around it. Really? Dozens of people dozens of people were spotted walking along the highway for cash. Uh, Hedger said McCarthy could have been charged with a crime, but they decided not to? Uh no, that you were you were just angling for someone to get splattered on a fucking highway. Yeah. There's more legal ramifications than just losing your money in the bank account here. There uh, come on. 
it, it's not obvious like how many turned cars or like turned rolled cars on the highway would stop for piles of cash on the side of the road absolutely everyone would and and yeah he, like they're not even thinking about arresting him for theft because well yeah that still counts as theft though yeah, it does, because it not wasn't all your money. If it was a shared account, then yeah, you can be in trouble for that. Ishmo says that's littering. Okay. <laughs> they're gonna find they're gonna find him for every bill that's on the ground. Littering. That's gonna rack up. This Ugh. And even even after they got it all up, people were still walking along the highway. Right. I am amazed someone didn't get Fucking split. I am too. Jeez, Oregon's not a flat state with clear roads either. You come over, you crest over a hill, and there's like, whack. it's a drop, and it's a wade, or it's just endless woods with lots of wildlife, live action, and not Hogger. always the nice kind. Oh, <laughs> oh, man, oh man, hey. you motherfucker! This fu- the douche bag, and then he just came home. Like that was it. That like, oh, I did a good thing for the day. I can go to bed tonight with a good conscience. What's the end game? Well, well, how? I, I want to know the conversation you had with the rest of your family after you did it. It's probably going to be jail. That, that's going to be. It should be. It's going to be. I want to know the conversation before the punching started. Oh, well, next up. Speaking of jail. um, Oh, goodness. There are dumb reasons to go to jail. There are many dumb yeah. reasons. Dumb. You've listed hundreds. Un- you've, you've literally found hundreds yourself. This has got to be in the top ten. No. Oh. Right. One of the dumbest reasons to go to jail. Ugh. Threats to dictionary publisher, land man a year in prison. A California man who made violent anti-LGBTQ related threats against dictionary publisher Merriam Webster Incorporated over its updated gender definitions was sentenced Thursday to a year in prison. Sentence imposed on Jeremy Hansen, 35, by federal court in Massachusetts, also included 30 days of home confinement, three years of probation, and mental health treatment. Hansen pled guilty last year to interstate transmission of threatening communications and connection with threats made to the Springfield, Massachusetts-based dictionary publisher and to the president of the University of North Texas. Court documents, uh, prosecutors said the Rossmore, California man has a history of making threatening communications, nearly all of which were motivated by biases based upon race, gender, gender identity, and or sexual orientation. Other communications were directed at the American Civil Liberties Union, Amnesty International, Land O'Lakes Incorporated, Utter... Hasbro, a non-binary rabbi, and others. I know what the Hasbro was. I can tell you right now what the Hasbro was. Which toy? Which toy or game? Transformers. Was it? That's not even. A, that's not even a joke. That's not even like a. Pun. I know. I know. I'm. I'm connecting it. I believe it. So, the rage didn't stop with American Civil Liberties. You then saw a Transformer that just enraged you. Man, you saw it. Tub- they the female they are so upset about yeah the female gender or female sex i don't know how it works for transformers if the transformer appears to present as a woman they get so mad even though we had like rc and the ones on i know too much about transformers i think about bumblebee to be the man he has a stinger oh goodness i i mean but okay that's idiotic that's an argument from a five-year-old, a little kindergartner would go, no, Transformers have to be boys. That I would believe from a five-year-old, as stupid as that is. There are grown adults who are who are fighting. Over. I know, I know. And they're fighting over education, too. Land of Lakes? Butter. I know exactly why. Did they have something like Bud Light with like a... They have right? a, uh, a Native American mascot on the right. pick Land of Lakes. And yeah. they removed it because it was... You know, it, it's like the Aunt Jemima thing. They're like, we're not doing this yeah. shit anymore. We're using a Native American to sell butter. Yeah. And uh, they're, th- that was probably, that. yeah, that's why they're pissed at Land O'Lakes. Any change, no matter how insignificant, yeah. infuriated, 35, 35 also. Fucking five. Okay, hey, Jeremy, was it worth the year? Was no, it worth just, a year of your life? It's not just the year, it's the three-year probation, and you're never getting a job again. 
Oh no. I think all the threats you've made to all these companies, they they get around to each other. That they know. Maybe maybe you can be Ben Shapiro shoe shine boy. Maybe that'll get you get a little work there. <laughs> you can suck up to him by trying to say you death threaten butter companies. Coffee delivery Goodness. for the daily caller. That's what Oh, I it like was, when he was charged, when the cops showed up to his house, did they charge him with comeuppance? Was that the actual charge? <laughs> I, I feel at least that's okay. <laughs> like, put that, like, actually put that on the little mugshot. Oh, goodness. Moving right along. Leave, hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. Okay. Another teacher? And it's, it's, oh. and this is Oregon too, somehow. I don't understand. Hey. Woman arrested after slapping middle schooler during Lake Oswego career day. Even Lake Oswego police were stunned by this case. On Friday, Lake Ridge Middle School was hosting a career day where parents and other community members could teach students about different jobs they could pursue one day. Police said one of the presenters, 43-year-old Ellen Sawo, uh, was talking to a class when police say she got upset with the students, started swearing at them, and at one point... Slapped a student in the face. Luckily, the student's okay. The school reported the incident to police. She was escorted from the school before police arrived, but she was later arrested for harassment, taken to the Clackamas County Jail. Clackamas, sorry. There's an A in there. Lady, we have, we've got very few rules in our society that we all agree on. Mostly all agree on. Like, there's like, cannibalism we we're all pretty much like most of us are like yeah no on that about that same level is you don't put your hands on someone else's kid yeah that's basic that's long before our generations too that this goes for long and on career day on career day and it doesn't, doesn't say a teacher, do you? Well, here's what to do. It doesn't uh, say what her job was. It's the other thing. I'm like, right. I'm sitting there racking my brains like, what the fuck could she put? She, the fucking DMB. DMB. Yeah, but they have the glass. No, they have the glass now. They can't reach out to slap. Oh, so no. God, they Is wish the they new... could. Yeah. It's, well, yeah. Is it the new slap fight league? Have you seen that garbage? It's... Oh, what? This, there's actually okay. So after the same owner of UFC, um, Dana White, he has a new league. It's just slap fighting. Like you stand there, like you're arm ready to arm wrestle, but you take turns slapping each other as hard as you can. That's how he's knocked fight. out. That's not a slap fight. This is That's a slap another... fight. That's a slap True. fight. I don't like. I, I would pay the see... or the comment. I would pay okay, to actually, see two I would... men. I would do this. Two I... buff. Two buff bodybuilders going. I would pay for that. <laughs> I, I would too. But just going back to it, was that the career they were showing off? Because even then, it's still not okay. It's still not. Also, forty-three. I have a feeling that was not her first year teaching. There's no way. No, she at was least a teacher. She presenter. She was a she was not a teacher, right? Right. They brought her in. We. I don't know what her actual job was. That's the thing. I, is it sad to say she does not have that job anymore? Whatever it is. It's probably going to be the, get there, because, uh, yeah. I, I just can't feel that it's not a good look where, like, essentially she worked for a company. Oh, I'm going to go represent the company and show all these kids about us. Maybe we'll get some future employees one day. How in God's name did you think you, everything was going to be okay after you laid hands on another person's child? Started, <laughs> got upset, started swearing, and was slapped one in the face. Ugh. What a career day. That school has stories to tell for a long time. Those kids are excited like, there. Kids are not forgetting that. Mm -mm. While we're on the subject of careers, a uh, Tennessee man had a uh, wanted to change his. He wanted to take a, a new job. Okay. Um, kind of went, tried to try to do it online, too. But uh, hey. some jobs you can't apply for on the Internet. Tennessee National Guardsman caught trying to moonlight as a hitman. It gets worse. Uh, Tennessee National. Uh, oh, it gets, it gets worse. Tennessee National Air Guardsman is facing charges for allegedly submitting his resume to what he thought was a website uh, hiring contract killers, but in reality was a parody site that tipped off federal authorities. 
Josiah. Read the website name. Read the website will, name, please. Uh, Josiah Ernesto Garcia, uh, 21 years old, was charged on Thursday with using interstate commerce, commerce facilities in the commission of murder for hire after allegedly submitting an employment inquiry to rentahitman.com. The fact that he lived to 21 years old being that stupid is a miracle. Quote, uh, I'm looking for a job that pays well related to my military experience, shooting and killing the marked target, so I can support my kid on the way. Oh, no. Oh. What? Oh, boy. I don't what? know how he's being seen that much of the kid in the future. I, ju I just don't get that feeling. What? Garcia, uh, what can I say? I enjoy doing what I do so I can find a job that's similar to it such as this one, put me in, coach. And he's legitimately insane. Like, this is no longer um, an idiot. I, like, legit insane at this point. Well, that's, that's dark. You know what they that's say? dark. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. You never will work a day in his life again. He's going to jail. And I, I can't see him getting a job now. Like, you said the last person's going to have trouble getting a job. Ooh. Application spurred a months-long sting during which Garcia admitted in one phone interview that he was comfortable taking fingers and ears as trophies for clients. He was asked to do a $5,000 job in April. He was also be arrested on April 12th after inquiring as to whether he, quote, needed to take a photo of the dead body as proof the job was complete. This sounds like a guy that, like, tried to file a 401, or, um, like, a W-4, like, self-employment with all this shoe. Goodness, like to let the IRS know what he does. Yeah, you got you. Well, you don't want to get you don't you got to pay the IRS. You got to pay your taxes. They don't care how they get the money, but I mean, I would uh, I would put that under what um, self employed, uh, freelance creative. It would be freelance. I mean, you get to itemize all your uh, tools, I guess. That's something for deductions. But then again, like you get to say it's hard to have references and repeat business, I imagine. A co-worker of the Air National Guard suggested to Garcia that he look for, quote, contract mercenary jobs. Garcia searched that term online and came across the rentahitman.com website. Do you think he was actually trying to, like, bait him into doing something stupid? I don't think Mr. Garcia here was well liked in his as a placement. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking too. I think they were baiting him into doing something real stupid. And that's exactly what it sounds like. And hey, you know what? If that's what got him locked up, fine, fine with it. Fine, fine with that. And that's what it means. Boy. Oh my god. Rent it and he's like uh, the light bulb goes off. It's real dim, but it's a light bulb. And if you're, it's curious, curious. if you're curious, go to rentahitman.com. The site is hilarious. It's, yeah, I... <laughs> uh, all right, we got one more this week. Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. You're not sorry about anything. Nope. Drunk man causes chaos after breaking into Naples Police Department. Naples again? Yeah. What is going on? It's, it's not that big of a town. A drunk man was arrested after sneaking into the Naples Police Department and recklessly exploring. That's a that's a term for it. Okay. Okay. I got to admit, it's a little funny so far. Okay. Joseph Moulton, 36, jumped the fence of the South parking lot and went inside an unlocked patrol cruiser where he sat for a few minutes until he saw people come outside in the bushes, then took action once the coast was clear. According to the police report, Moulton used the nozzle of a water hose and shoved it under the west door before turning the water on, causing at least an inch of flood damage. Is he trying to cause senior pranks at his high school? What is this guy doing? He explored his way to the men's locker room and made himself at home by taking a shower and helping himself to some clothing. Oh. Uh, Moulton took a uniform, shirt pants, cap, and a bulletproof vest worth $900. The report also describes that he defecated on the woman's bathroom's floor and dumped a police radio in the toilet. Oh, there's a toilet! <laughs> what are you doing? It's literally right there! He's getting swifty, my friend. 
Did you what? Were you conserving water for that hose trick you pulled earlier? <laughs> what? Now, what's impressing me about this? When I've been drunk, after a certain point, there's one thing I want to do. One thing and only one thing. Sit down. That's all I want to do. This guy's got some energy. I gotta say that. Climbing a fence? That Find alone. And the, finding a hose and the spigot on a building, just knowing where it is and running that. Getting undressed and dressing up, pretending like doing a fashion show. I'm a police officer! I'm an officer for Into the women's bathroom. It wasn't until Bolton made his way to the nearest 7 Eleven. That police became aware of Bolton's action. One employee called the police after finding Bolton suspicious and believed to be under the influence. Really? You believe? Yep. You believe in that? Really? You think so? They will locate Bolton and arrest him. During the interview, he admitted to being in or under the influence and not recalling what he did. Oh, oh, oh. That's bad. Bolton's being That's charged with bad. grand theft and two counts of burglary. Police are not commenting at the moment as they are further their investigation. Like, of all the places to fuck with, you picked the hornet's nest, son! This is like a, one of those bad police academy sequels. <laughs> this is the villain trying to cause shenanigans. <laughs> Goodness. People in the jail are saying meth. They're saying meth. Maybe, but, you know, well, no. I don't know, because that would, I don't think you'd have enough coordination and energy to go that far and do all that. So it, it could have been part, that could have been part of it. Like that was his breakfast that morning, but I, I don't know. <laughs> they can find out what his breakfast was that morning. They have the forensics team go to the they women's do. bathroom. All right, this is what we're paid to do. Oh boy. Jesus. Hold this in. There's a radio in the toilets. Oh, oh. Jesus H. <laughs> also, I was going to say, every room in that building <laughs> is video monitored. They have right. footage of all everything. Every step that man took in that building is on footage. Like of all the places, of all of them. The Christmas party will have a well edited documentary that every all the cops are gonna sit around and laugh at while having the holidays and just watching this nice footage of you being insane. That's the place they keep the cocaine. They have cameras uh, all over it. Yeah, yeah. And in Florida, you know they've seen everything, so they have to be tested and ready with those cameras, too. They're working. Yeah. Ugh. It's bad. It's bad when pooing... I, I still can't go over it. You broke into the women's bathroom, pooed on the floor, when there were probably multiple toilets. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right there. For yeah. What, did he just yell, opposite day, and then put the <laughs> like, spike the walkie-talkie in the toilet and go to the bathroom on the floor, washed his feet instead of his hands in the sink? I, what What the world? What the heck? Oh, for the uh, hug's sake. Just shit up. I, I also, um, whoever um, is the custodial, whoever has to clean that up, you get erased. Well, they're not paid enough even with a race. All right, so the first thing we learned this week. Well, I mean, if the toilet's right there, come on. It's right there. You can see it. You've used it, obviously, because you, <laughs> you slam dunked a radio in there. We've learned you can't just Google to find and everything. He's not learned that. <laughs> He actually did learn that. He did not know that. So that is interesting. He did learn it. Well, he probably turned on a VPN, so he thought it was fine. Oh, do you think he knows how to do a VPN if yeah. he's doing Rent a Hitman? I don't know. Probably, probably thought he's finally what they think. He's behind seven proxies. They couldn't trace. Okay. Uh, we've learned, and you shouldn't need to learn this do not put your hands on another person's child. Yeah. Um, Still, I, I, I'm with you. I want to know what the career was that she was representing. We'll probably never know, but man, oh man, that's a strenuous line of work. Whatever it is, she was wound up. We've learned there are grown men having fights about goddamn Transformers gender. And butter. And, and butter. butter. Yeah. And, and butter. butter. 
My boner toe doesn't have a Native American on it. They're going to jail for this shit. Yeah, yeah, for a while. For a while, too. We've learned that uh, a quick way to get a whole bunch of people killed is to throw money on the highway. And finally, we... I, I still don't know what to say about that. I still want to know the end game planning for that one. And finally, some people have actually learned this week that uh, Florida celebrates Get Better at History Month. Some people in Florida probably do. It's Florida, and there's enough people there that probably still think it's 1860 or live like it, so. They don't call it God's waiting room for nothing. Ugh.